All right, what I got here is the uh, cylinder head for the Subaru EX21 engine. Uh, just a nice overview for reference. Um, right here you can see the EX21 casting, which you would probably find on just about every cylinder head. Um, it's a good identifying, identification mark. Um, a lot of times the other engines, the EX13 and whatnot, they have the same location. So that's a quick identifier somewhere on the casting EX. And I uh, just wanted to go over the features and benefits. Oh, that pin's sticking out. Hold on a second here. So what you have is you have stamped steel rockers for durability and reliability. You've got adjustable, um, you've got adjustable uh, pieces up here for your valve lash. Okay, and then one of the cool features is quick disassembly of the cylinder head. So you pull this pin out. This is the rocker shaft pins. And you can pull these out, set them aside. You got those out of the way if you need to work on the valves, remove the valve assembly. This um, those cams uh, slides on a pin, which is easily removed by undoing this bolt. Pull the pin out. It's got an O-ring to seal in the oil. And the pin and the cam come out very easily. The other nice feature of this uh, cylinder head is the uh, easy way of removing the valve keepers. It's all done by finger pressure. Very easy. Um, that's all you'll need is three strong fingers. Um, installing them could be done with three fingers. Uh, it does take more time to install them. And, uh, but uh, very nice, simple design. I disassembled this complete head and uh, of course clean the combustion chamber, which is looks pretty good now. And uh, just a very nice cylinder head and very nice, very nicely designed. So there you go. Oh, let me uh, let me see if I can install these with one hand. Okay, let me see. Let me line them up real quick. Okay, got those lined up. I'll just. See if I can move this right here. And then, there we go. All nice and put back together. And of course the cam is one lobe and it does feature a compression release.